Good afternoon, everyone. Ugh. Ryan Maui showing us the temperatures. 32 degrees below zero in the northeast U.S. Another temperature gradient map here for you coming through the New Year holiday. December chill, bitter cold. I want to know if my bitter cold and your bitter cold are the same. So if you think minus 45 degrees is bitter cold, then yeah, we're on the same page. But this is in the United States, not in the Arctic Circle. Bitter cold jet stream. That dark blue coming out of Canada is minus 50 to minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit. This pipeline of cold air really pulling down into the Gulf of Mexico. Weather Channel here, let's go through, through progression in the next three days as you go through the New Year holiday. Wind chill forecast. Taking a look at Myrtle Beach, 26. Freezing's 32. When we look at Little Rock, Arkansas, 11 degrees. Places like Atlanta, 22. Down to Pensacola, Florida, 22 degrees. Baton Rouge, 17. Jackson, Mississippi, 10 degrees. Atlanta, 14 degrees. These temperatures, unbelievable. Brutal Arctic air. Even the highs in Jackson, Mississippi are only going to be 18 degrees. And as we get through New Year's Eve, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, below freezing. Interesting. They call it extreme Arctic air gripping Canada and northern U.S., but... They actually have to switch the title now to southern U.S. and Florida as well. 20 degrees Fahrenheit below normal temperatures. Let's jump over to the record snow that came across Erie, Pennsylvania and several other locations in New York. NOAA satellite here. Let me wide out here so you can see the striations in the cloud bands. Interesting to say the least. Everything's linked below so you can do your own research on these stories. And as was predicted with the increase in intensity of the grand solar minimum, more heavy snow events breaking records back to the early 1800s and eventually back to the 1600s. More snow. Here's another example along with the record cold across the northeast U.S. And it's in Asia as well. Record cold across Asia, which I'll cover in the next video. Erie, Pennsylvania. 34 inches of snow. That actually turned into 60 inches. But you have to realize the old record in 1956 was 20 inches. So that city in that area of Pennsylvania has broken the snow record by not once, not doubling, but tripling the old record. These are things to be expected in the intensification. Snowiest month in the city's history. That's one of the older towns in the U.S. I'm not saying it's the oldest like Plymouth or anything. But as you're going west, it's much older than what you find out in California. Places like Philadelphia have been around since the early 1700s and before, and now, you know, California, 1849, there's quite a difference. I'll just let the images roll here for you. And as digging through the social media, it's always the same. Look how deep the snow is. Look how deep the snow is. And then funny, how AccuWeather tries to term it nuisance snow. Okay, they just broke their all-time record snow record by three times, tripling the old record. Yet, in our happy mainstream media, they call it nuisance snow. That's almost like limited heat or some ridiculous thing that they're using to try to cover up and mask the intensification of the grand solar minimum. Deep snow, deep snow, and the snow just kept coming. And there's more snow on the way, and there's more record cold temperatures across the northeast U.S. coming. Other areas... Redfield, New York, 62 inches, breaking the old record. Places up in Michigan, Porcupine Mountains, six feet of snow. And tis the season for Donald Trump to make an amazing quote here. With the record cold temperatures across the United States, it's time for a little bit of that good old global warming to come back. But the IPCC will have you believe that these record cold temperatures are due to a record warm Arctic. Somehow those record warm Arctic temperatures turn into extreme record cold minus 60, minus 40 degrees, minus 30 degrees, even though it was warmer in the Arctic than what the air temperatures are pushing further south. So you can believe it, you cannot.
use some common sense when they're trying to feed you the excuse. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video.